North Korea and South Korea both rang in the new year with missiles. North Korea launched several ballistic missiles over the weekend, with leader Kim Jong-un unveiling a new shorter-range design to carry tactical nuclear weapons. South Korea unannounced Friday launched a solid-fuel rocket it says is designed to place a spy satellite in orbit. North Korea launched a record number of missiles in 2022, more than 90. This comes as South Korea inaugurated a new leader in May. President Yoon suk yeol has implemented a hard line against Pyongyang, including strengthening the country's alliance with the United States. South Korea's President Yoon also restarted large-scale joint military exercises with the United States, with plans to conduct 20 live-fire drills this year. Some South Koreans believe more live-field exercises are necessary. The South Korea-U.S. joint training is a must. Even when I was in the military, I did that joint training with the U.S., but the computer-simulated war games were not effective at all. There needs to be more active, live and practical training. Other South Korean people want negotiations. Before increasing or even maintaining defense spending, I think it's important to have a conversation, since the problem with North Korea is so emotional, because we are a divided country separated by war. At a party meeting last week, the North Kim promised to increase Pyongyang's nuclear deterrent in the coming year. While in South Korea in 2022, the U.S. lifted restrictions on Seoul's missile range and payload and established an American Space Command to better surveil the region. Frank Smith, Press TV, Seoul.